I'm going to try to sync this with the uh, pictures, but I don't know it'll work. This is the place that I've been looking at. Um, looks really good from the picture. It's a long walk from where I would be, which is this part of the park, to get to the bathrooms and the pool and stuff. It's a very long walk to get to the bus. And it gets very hot and very cold here, like below freezing and dangerously hot here. So it would be a lot of walking and a lot of heat. This is the only affordable apartment in Albuquerque at all. And um, there's drug use and there's a um, perverted person who stares at little girls in the swimming pool. And the management uses drugs and one of the managers was uh, arrested for embezzlement. This is the apartments that are for rent. My income is $700. This is the rooms for rent. My income is $700. And that would be sharing with somebody else in somebody else's house. This is an article about the rental crisis in the nation, uh, that people cannot afford places to live because of the housing crisis that happened with the cheap mortgages and lying, cheating bankers and stuff. So um, I live in one of the most expensive places. Orange is one of the most expensive places and I'm in New Mexico, um, which is down next to Texas. Um, this shows how people are having to cut costs by not spending money on food and stuff. I only get $90 a month food stamps anyway and I pretty much live on it so my diet is poor and my nutrition is bad and I have symptoms of malnutrition so people aren't spending any money just so that they can keep a roof over their heads so that's affecting the economy too you know down in like Orlando Florida people are doubling and tripling up in rental apartments um, the people that work at Disney World and stuff like that they can't afford rents where they work so they're living in hotel rooms three four people in a hotel room here's some graphs from this is a study from Harvard University about what's happening you see there that our incomes used to be more than our rent and now our incomes are going down and the rents are going up we pay 30 percent that's one third so if you have a dollar that's 30 cents or we pay 50 cents out of every dollar we have for rent I pay about a third. I'm kind of lucky in that respect. And this shows how we can't afford food, transportation. We can't afford to save for retirement. What's that, you know? <laughs> so there's no extra money. I didn't copy down the website addresses, but I'm not lying. This is the Director of Housing and Urban Development says there's never been a crisis like this in the United States ever. Um. People just can't afford places to live. So I'm competing with all these other people that are looking for places. And I'm living in one of the places that's the most expensive. This is the New York Times. This woman has a one room apartment and she pays $800 a month and rents out the floor for $400 to a guy. Um, so there's a whole article about that in the New York Times. This is no secret and landlords know it and they know we're desperate. This is the inside of my place. I'm showing you how the roof leaks. Maybe you can see that it's bent down. And there's the air conditioner that's pushing the roof down. And it's collapsing. That's why the air conditioner doesn't work anymore. I had that blanket up to help try to keep it warm. But you see it's covered with water stains now. I had mylar and the blanket over to try to keep cold air from getting in in the winter. But it's all wet and stuff. I put a plastic tablecloth over my bed. That's right over my bed to try to keep the rain from dripping on the laptop and on me. This is my place. It looks bad right now because I'm packing to move, but I don't know where I'm going to move to. I don't want to live in that hot parking lot in this dilapidated trailer. This place looked pretty good. The jack-o'-lanterns are to put um, plants in to grow them. Um, there's a cat bed. Uh, I put shade tarps up. Those are old trampolines that I put up to try to keep some shade. I've got all kinds of reflective stuff to try to keep the sun out. Um, these are all things that I'm packing, so please ignore that it looks like crazy people. That's my utility trailer. It's all got all my gardening stuff in it. 
I've got layers and layers of stuff on the front door to try to keep the cold out. Um, what else? This is where I wash my dishes. And I'm dealing with the laundry soap and stuff. And this is where I do laundry. Uh, and that's the view. And that's Interstate 40, the cross-continental highway that goes all the way across the United States. So, and there's what's left of my garden, which is dying now because I'm moving and I grow things for food. So my food is dying because I can't take it with me. And then I found this today. Um, and I'm not going to say a lot except that I talked to the guy. They know I've got three cats. They know I'm in a kind of a cruddy situation. And if you pause this, you can read more about it. They even list the names and species and types of pets they have. I talked to him for quite some time and they didn't dismiss me just because I'm low income and just because I have two cats and a dog. Um, they're interested in meeting with me. They want somebody that will fit into their home, not um, somebody that they're just running to because they're desperate, because they're not desperate. They'll hold the vacancy until they can find a decent person. So if you would like to write a letter of reference for me to tell them whether you think I'm a good person or not, uh, you can send it to me by private message and I will forward it to them by email. So I would appreciate any help you can offer. Also, if you'd like to contribute to the moving fund, I'd sure appreciate it. I have to wait until after the third to go meet them so that I have enough money for gas to get out there. So I'd appreciate your help. Anyway, that's why I can't afford a place to live. So the next time somebody says to you, oh, well, she's not poor because she's got internet. My rent is 275 My internet is 50 And my income is 700 So that tells you how important having internet is to me. It's my only communication with the outside world. And it's my only chance to get out of poverty. Thank you for your time. Bye.